CARDIO 13 investigates is uncovering a startling link between Mexican cartels and fentanyl in Southern Colorado. The Drug Enforcement Administration tells investigator Sean Rice how agents are now working to cut off the flow of money from the sale of drugs. Sean is live overlooking downtown Colorado Springs to explain what he's learning about the cartels impact here. Sean. Yeah, Bart, the DEA says two major Mexican cartels, the Sinaloa and Jalisco cartels, are actively operating right here in Colorado Springs. They tell me they're using what's called money service businesses, like your local bank, to send the proceeds of their illegal drug trafficking back to Mexico. And now the DEA is aiming to stop that in its tracks. Cartels are going to take uh, advantage of every kind of opportunity to launder their money. It's what the DEA says Mexican cartels care about most, their money. The biggest money maker for them is the sale of fentanyl in the United States. In Colorado alone, the DEA seized 2.6 million pills last year, the majority of them with a direct link to cartel activity in Mexico. Just last year, the government of Mexico, the Bank of Mexico, put out that more than $63 billion dollars was moved via money remittances. Predominantly, I believe it's 96% had originated in the United States. DEA acting special agent in charge David Oleski is partnering up with what's called money service businesses. Anywhere from your run of the mill bank to the cryptocurrency sector and even apps like Venmo and Cash App. They might stop off two or three different locations throughout the course of a day, sending four or five thousand dollars at a time and sending it to a location down south of our border where somebody's collecting it on the receiving end. Targeting the cartels where it matters most, their bottom line, the DEA says will help them rid the spread of a drug like fentanyl in the Pikes Peak region. They are going to continue to adapt even with this messaging we're putting out today. They're going to adapt to it and so will we. DEA says this is certainly not a problem Colorado law enforcement is fighting alone. In fact, they're working with financial institutions across the country to help combat the fentanyl crisis. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Sean Rice, Cario, 13 Investigates. All right, Sean, thanks.